when you're in the process, which is an infinite process of becoming who you truly are, of connecting back to the source of who you really are, what's going to happen is that there's going to be a lot of distractions <laughs> along the journey. That's just what's going to happen. There's going to be people trying to throw their negative energy at you. There's going to be, you know, negative vibrations in the area. There's going to be all sorts of things coming up to the surface trying to convince you why you shouldn't be continuing on your path, following what truly feels resonant in your spirit. Because at the end of the day, all you have is yourself. And that doesn't mean you're not supported by people around you, even though that might sound contradictory. It just means that you have your personal truth, okay? Every single person, every single being, every life being, every being has their own personal truth. And that personal truth, you can be disconnected from that if you follow the, dist the distractions. Now, distractions can be very deceptive because sometimes you might think that you're being in your power and you know, you're protecting yourself and protecting your energy, but really, that's just another distraction, right? You've convinced yourself that you're being this noble being. You've convinced yourself that you're being in the light, that you're holding your frequency, that you're being who you truly are. Yet, yet what's happening is that yet you've now followed another distraction. Now, what is a distraction? It means that you have convinced yourself that you need to be following some sort of negative vibration, some sort of energy that you don't truly feel is resonating with you, okay? That's what it means. It means that you're not trusting yourself fully. Maybe you're partially trusting yourself, but then maybe some situation happens which causes a contraction, and then you go in the direction of that contraction, and you follow that belief. See, when a negative belief comes up, you always want to be asking yourself, do I have to believe in this energy? Do I have to believe in this belief? Because if that belief is coming up to the surface, it's rising up because your frequency is getting higher. Your, <laughs> your energy is getting so high that all the old patterns that you've been attached to are being shown that they're no longer serving you. And when you start to experience that these old patterns <coughs> are no longer serving you, well, you have to see it in that way, that this is just an old pattern that's not serving me. Or you can convince yourself that you have to be sort of trusting in that energy when the truth is that you want to ignore that energy at all costs, okay? At all costs. Because if you trust in that energy, what's going to happen is that ultimately nothing's going to happen from a higher level. But from a relative point of view, in terms of your journey, in terms of you getting closer to what your heart truly wants, you're just basically going to be slowing yourself down. That's pretty much all that's going to happen, is that you're just going to slow your own process down, and you're not going to get to go to where it is that you really want to be going. Okay, And so this is why it's aware to be aware <laughs> this is why it's important to be aware of the distractions where are you distracting yourself where are you letting yourself fall into lower energies when you don't have to be trusting in that you don't have to be trusting in those energies now what you want to do is just let it go it's just in my experience what works for me and just carry on just carry on just follow your path right there's going to be people telling you no there's, there's going to be, you know, things seemingly even coming up as soon as you feel like things are starting to work for you. Especially, here's the thing you want to keep in mind as well, is that especially when you start to get into a really powerful flow, when you're about to level up, when your frequency is getting super high, when you're about to expand at a completely new level <coughs> and everything is happening in a way that you've never even seen before and you're about to get to some amazing blissful experience usually what happens and you're about to manifest a lot of things usually in that space too because you get into an energy of giving and of course you're actually receiving you're learning to receive but receiving actually is giving there's no difference when your frequency is at that point 
Okay, there's no difference between giving and receiving. I'm going to record a whole video on this topic because there's no difference at all whatsoever. <laughs> like receiving is giving. The more that you receive as a free being and connect to who you truly are, that is giving. That's the best thing you can do for all beings is receive at the highest level. Because think about it like this. You don't need to take anything from anybody else to receive everything that you want. That's a limiting belief system based on lack. But again, that's a whole other topic. Now, what I was saying a second ago is that, which I want to carry on with, is that <coughs> you want to be <coughs> aware that there's going to be a lot of distractions when your energy levels get very high. That's, that's what's going to happen. So, not only do I want to get on the distractions, generally speaking, on your path, I just want to share with you another truth, which is that when you're about to get to a completely new level, be aware that that is when you're going to have to watch out for the old patterns, the ego backlash, the, the devil on your shoulder, okay? On the right side of your shoulder or the left side or whatever, <laughs> that ego is going to come up to the surface and it's going to manifest through people, through situations, through all sorts of different manifestations in a negative way. Um, if you perceive it in that way, it can happen. It is just what it is, right? You can look at it as a negative, as a dark force trying to control you and it is in a way, but you don't even have to see it in that way. Just see it for what it is. It is a dark force, but don't see it as bad. Don't push it away. Just see it and just let it go right because pushing it away and resisting it or pushing it from that negative space you're actually feeding it energy right so you don't want to be feeding energy to the distractions it's trying to pull you in right and it doesn't mean that you have to you know stop talking to people like some people think like oh my family is lowering my frequency and it could be the case right could be the case somebody could be lowering your energy but there's been times where actually i thought that somebody was lowering my frequency but in reality, it was me resisting a certain lesson that needed to be learned. And actually, I was lowering my own frequency. And yet, and that was yet another distraction. A whole another distraction, right? And you can fall into these traps where you think that you're defending yourself. You think that you're, you know, raising your state when yet you've fallen into another trap. So, I just wanted to conclude this video by letting you know that... You know, these, these old patterns, these distractions are going to come up to the surface as soon as you're about to level up, okay? And that's really important to be aware of. And with that, I conclude this video. Leave a comment down below if this was supportive for you. Also, if you want to work with me one-on-one -on -one personally, I am taking clients once again. I have very limited availability. So if you do want to work with me, be sure to apply as soon as possible. I'm, I'm only taking a few people into my coaching, into my one-on-one -on -one coaching I may run like a group program or something, but that's not determined yet. So if you do want an opportunity to work with me, be sure to apply as soon as possible. It's going to be in the description, also in the comments below. Also, please hit a leave a like button so my people can get access to this content because I do believe that every single person on this planet does deserve to get access to this incredibly valuable content. And hitting that like button does help the YouTube algorithm push the videos out too more people and with that i conclude this video as always enjoy the rest of your day and i'll see you in the next video